economic aspects of uh, applied plant anatomy. The economic aspects of applied plant anatomy describes the various points and the applications in terms of the taxonomic applications, medicinal plants, food adulterants and contaminants, animal feeding habits, wood of the present day, wood in archaeology, forensic applications, body, and the use of plant anatomy in the applied aspects of the maritime tip culture. There are opinions when herbarium botanists find that it is difficult to assign a particular species or genus to a family. General affinities are suspected, but there is insufficient evidence for them to place a taxon in a particular family. Additional anatomical evidence may be of help and there are mainly times, many times when little extra helpful information comes from the home. It means that uh, uh, the plant anatomy can be useful when studying different types, types of the taxa in terms of the identification, when there is a special type of the identification markers are not available, then the plant anatomy is used for the identification of the plant into different types of the taxon. Taxonomic applications. When there is uh, no flowers and the fruits are on the plants. Leaf arrangements wood and roots, but which may have readily recognizable features, which can be seen with the lens. But more often than not, identity has to be confirmed with a microscope. It is possible, for example, to check the identity of non-flowering plants by looking at the leaf surfaces under the scanning electron microscope. The appearance of the leaf surface in these plants can also indicate which subgroup they belong to. Second is the medicinal plants. Most of the drugs which are still extracted from the plants come from the leaves, bark, roots or the rhizomes. Leaves often become fragmented and detached bark, roots, and rhizomes can be difficult to identify from their microscopic appearance. The standards of the safety and quality to be maintained for these purposes, accurate anatomical and morphological descriptions of the drugs have been published. All these uh, uh, is meant to uh, the use of for the plant rotten by using the electron microscopy, the different types of the uh, chemicals that are generally obtained from the plants are used in different types of the medicines. Then there is a problem by using the medicine, such type of the medicine because of uh, due to the extraction of the plants. So plants can be identified which type of this chemical or the alkaloid is obtained from the special type of the plants. So, in this way, plants can identify that this drug, this chemical, or this alkaloid is inside which plant, which is inside the bark, the root, or the root, or in any other part. In this way, by using plant anatomy, you have a medicinal plants to identify Sometimes closely similar substitutes are put on the market when usual source of the material is unavailable. For example, when Bolivian Bauria bark is difficult to obtain and a substitute from Haiti is available. 
Microscopic study has shown that the substitute is from a different species because the group of flowing fibers are dissimilar, but chemical tests prove it to be equally suitable for use. Occasionally, the substitute may be poor and unsuitable. Rheum officinale root and the rhizome is used medicinally, but rheum reponticum is the vegetable. Fortunately, the chemical and autonomical tests can be applied to detect which species is the present. When root anatomy is studied for the distinction, however, if there is no distinction <coughs> has been detected, uh, indeed root wood is often slightly dissimilar in its anatomy from the trunk wood of the same species. This means that one cannot rely on the descriptions contained in the reference work on the root anatomy for accurate identification of the roots. The root anatomy is also quite variable within a species. So the only way to be sure of making the proper identification is to compare the root sections with the reference microscope slides taken from a range of the authenticated specimens. The figure shows that two types of the roots uh, of the acer pseudoplatinus that grown under the very different conditions and some normal trunk wood for the comparisons. The number three, food adulterants and the contaminants. Some herbs are used extensively as seasoning. These are often imported in the form of the dried folded plant parts, usually rhizomes, roots, or the leaves. Sometimes it is not possible to get closer that the family, as for example, in Salicaceae. In trunk wood, Salix and the Populus can normally be separated because Salix usually has histocellular rays and the Populus homocellular rays. Food contaminant. Foreign bodies sometimes get into food by the accident. Often these are very small and fragmentary and can be identified only with the microscope. For example, a splinter of the wood. Splinter means that this is a very small piece of the wood. In butter was found to come from a species of the pinus. The importer and the packers hope to be able to determine if the splinter could have come from the country of origin or of the butter or whether it might have been introduced during the packing stages. The starch grains are also very important for the determinations of the different types of the plant origin of the food. It is often possible to see if the stated materials have been used in a product unless the grains have become too much hydrolyzed. These are the different types of the starch grains that have been detected in different types of the foods. Animal feeding habit. Animals sometimes consume crop plants. It is possible to find out what has been eaten by studying the composition of the feces are the stomach, for example, feces from the rabbit and foxes. They eat different types of the plant origins or the plant parts, or specifically their feces can be examined and determine the types of the xylitary or the flowing fibers or other xylitary tissues. On the basis of the xylem and the flowing other type of the tissues present in their feces, one can identify which type of the plant can be eaten by such type of animals. Fragments of plant are very, very small when they have passed through an animal's veggie digestive system. Fragments put into a petri dish and the sample divided into its components. These fragments from each dish are examined using under the light microscope. Some African cattle were being injured by eating grasses. The cattle only ate the grass when other plants were unavailable. Feces were examined and the polders 
reported that there were silica bodies and sharp hair of pheasant. Domestic animals occasionally eat poisonous. The owner of the animals can then take precautionary measures against further livestock poisoning. The wood of the present day that is known as the trunk wood, the trunk wood also known as the timber wood or the stem wood. Samples sent to the queue for anatomical identification consist mainly of wood derived from the different sources. Q, this is uh, uh, the place in the England. Uh, generally, it is famous for the Cuba Botanical Garden. The British Standards Institute has published a list of the common names and the species from which the wood came. And this was the authoritative work which has to be followed. The preservation of the wood is considerable economic importance. Experimental anatomy carried out in various parts of the world in order to establish prevention of their degradating activities. Wood in archaeological studies. The characters are also enabled to identify the wood and charcoal preserved in sites from the antiquity. Features like uh, perforation plate and uh, lateral wall pitting are still retained, which is the main uh, indicators or the markers of the wood anatomy in the archaeological studies. The wood of the archaeological sample is compared with that of the present day wood. The Indus Bronze Age civilization of the Harappa and the Papur Age civilization of the Hastinapura were aware by use of the wood. For example, the Udara for making coffins has properly of shock absorbing and the Harappans were aware of this fact. Delbergia Sisu, also known as the Tali Arshisham and uh, Halorina antidysentrica, these two timber yielding plants, these plants provide the fuel wood. Corillus were well preserved in the water lodge conditions in Somerset at the Bronze Age. Apart from wood and charcoal, other archaeological plant remains are also preserved. For example, a sandal was preserved in the ancient Egypt. However, these, uh, this slide shows all types of the plants that are generally appeared in the ancient civilizations in you know, Adapans, as well as other types of the civilizations or the copper civilizations or bronze civilizations. They use different types of the plants, even though they use the Dudara, uh, uh, means that this is uh, this ye lakdi joana is to pyar bhi ka jata hai, uskalava shisham. की use of plant materials in solving crimes or other legal problems, the morphological and anatomical diversity expressed by plant species provide characters to identify plant forms. Plant remains are present everywhere in the form of the macroscopic pieces and the microscopic forms. Edible plants are used to identify the stomach contents and the last meal of a victim. So in this way, Victims which have eaten something about can be identified after uh, when uh, he or she get problem or get diseased or it, uh, he or she can be killed. Uh, the investigators can identify which type of the meal they bought during the last hours before their uh, death. In dicotyledonous roots, growth rings can indicate the number of the years passed since the burials. जो dicotyledonous होती हैं, उनके लकड़ी के अंदर जो rings बने होती हैं, इसको growth rings कहा जाता है। उससे ये अंदाज़ लगाया जा सकता है कि ये जो है ना वो years passed since burial के कितने साल गुजर गए हैं जब ये ज़मीन के अंदर दफन हो गई थी। Dendrochronology 
techniques and able to date wood and so the year of the painting dendrochronology lakdi ki age ko maloom karne ki ek technique hai ye ek study hai jo ke uski painting ko identify kar sakti hai these techniques are also used to detect when the wood was used to make art objects or the musical instrument aur is technique ko use kiya gaya tha जो पुरानी एंटीक्वाइटी और एंटीक्स वगैरह जो हासिल की गई थी मुख्तु जगहों से उसको आइडेंटिफाई करने के लिए और म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट को आइडेंटिफाई करने के लिए यानी कि अंदर को लकड़ी कौन सी यूज हुई है डिफरेंसिंग एप्लीकेशन एग्जाम्पल्स इन नाइनटीन थर्टी टू एन दिनिंग ऑफ द मार्च मैरकन एवियशन हीरो चार्लस Lindbergh was kidnapped from his home in the Hopewell, New Jersey, USA. Dead body of the son son was discovered a few miles away from the family home. The ladder was the only evidence left at the scene. They were homemade crew, uh, homemade and crew. Zeratomist Arthur Kohler of the United States for Forest Services in Wisconsin. Examine the wood of the ladder, both morphologically and anatomically. Four pieces were used to construct the ladder, namely yellow pine, pinus, ponderosa, Douglas fir, and the betula. The basis of identification was the microscopic analysis of the grain patterns of the wood. This example may be told that in 1932, at night, on the first of March. अमेरिकन एविएशन हीरो जो था उसका एक बेटा जो है वो किडनैप हो गया उसकी कुछ अरसे के बाद डेड बॉडी जो है उस घर के कुछ नील दूर वहां से मिली उसमें जो चीज नजर आई उसमें एक लेटर एक सीढ़ी थी लकड़ी की जो बनी हुई थी उसकी हालत को वो ऐसा लगता था ये ये हाथ से बनी हुई है और क्रूड लकड़ी से मिलकर बनी हुई है उस लकड़ी उस सीढ़ी की लकड़ी को चेक करने के लिए जो काम करने वाले होते हैं उनको जो टेलोमिस्ट कहा जाता है उसने चेक किया मॉर्फोलॉजिकली भी और नोटमिकली भी और ये बताया कि ये लकड़ी जो है ये चार किस्म की लकड़ियों से मिलकर बनी हुई है उन लकड़ियों के नाम क्या हैं येलो पाइन है पाइनस मिलती है खास एरिए से मिलती है दैट्स वाई ये पता चलाने के लिए जिस इलाके के अंदर ये लकड़ियां आमतौर पर मिलती है बेसिकली वहां पे ही कोई ना कोई ऐसा कल्परेट होगा जिसने किल किया है दी प्लांट अनोटमी एंड दिलियर बॉटनी अनोटमिकल फीचर्स कैन आइडेंटिफाई आर्कियोलॉजिकल मटेरियल्स दे कैन बी एम्प्लॉयड इन द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ फॉसल्स एंड प्लेस देम अमंग द एग्जिस्टिंग प्लांट फैमिलीज इन द जेनरल फॉसल्स आर यूजुअली कंपोज्ड ऑफ ओनली सम प्लांट पार्ट्स विद द आइडेंटिफाइंग फीचर्स एसोसिएटेड विद फ्लावर्स एंड फ्रूट्स फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन and comparison of a reference collection of scopes may allow us to allocate the fossil to an existing taxonomy group ab isme ye bataya gaya hai ki periobotany ko ancient botany bhi kaha jata hai ya aisi botany ki branch hai jiske andar fossils ko study kiya jata hai plant fossils ko plant fossils bhi kyunki hazaron lakhon saal purani lakdiyan jo hai zameen mein dabi hui thi jo aaj kal patthron se nahi pahadon ke andar se nikalti hain उनकी डेट चेक करने के लिए उनकी वुड चेक करने के लिए भी प्लॉट नॉटमी जो है वो स्टडी की जा सकती है दीज आर द रेफरेंसेस थ्रू विच ऑल टाइप ऑफ द मटेरियल्स वाज 